I have gotten several questions over the years about various things in this audio amplifier. The more puzzling to people are the two diodes. Those are crossover compensating diodes, and I did a video just on that, and they compensate for the junction in the emitter base junction in both transistors. But most recently I've been getting questions, how can a diode pass an audio signal without distorting it? Well, I'm going to use this simplified circuit here. All it is is a 10k ohm resistor, a diode, and a 1k ohm resistor all in series between a 0 to 12 volt power supply. Our input signal is going to be impressed upon the bottom of that diode or the top of the 1k ohm resistor and the output is going to be on the other side of the diode and we're going to see what happens when I increase the voltage in this circuit and what happens when that diode becomes forward biased. This meter is across the diode and this meter is across the 0 to 12 volt supply and as you can see we don't have that turned on. I'm going to turn on the generator first and you'll notice that we've got some negative voltage there. That's because the diode is rectifying the audio input. And I can vary the audio input there. Okay. So now I'm going to start increasing from zero up to 12 volts. And we'll see what happens to that signal as the diode becomes forward biased. Okay. You can see that it's creeping toward a sine wave. Got just a little over one volt uh, total and across the diode we've got still a negative uh, 240 let's see where is the dot yeah 240 millivolts okay increasing let's go a little bit higher here almost two volts. There we go, a little bit over. And now we're on the positive on the diode. 131 millivolts across the diode. Now we'll continue to go up here. Okay, I'm up to almost three volts total. Okay, and now we're at dot four across the diode. And that signal is looking real close to a sine wave. Okay, continuing more. Okay, just about 3.7 volts over the circuit and dot 49 looks like a pretty good sine wave, maybe just a little bit more. And I didn't notice any change in the sine wave. Okay, now I'm going to 
continue to go up and we'll take a look at that sine wave and we don't hardly notice any change in that sine wave as I increase the voltage across the entire circuit. We're almost seven, there we go. Seven volts. Eight volts. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And we'll go up to twelve here. There we go. Twelve volts. And we got our pretty sine wave going through that diode with no distortion. Because that diode is forward biased. It is turned on all the way and pretty much uh, in that circuit right now that diode is a wire okay we'll go back down we'll go back down a little bit quicker here Back down to getting close to six volts. Go down to five, four and a half. Okay, now we're going to start seeing some change again, I believe. Yep, there it is. 4.9. And the overall voltage on this circuit is 3.679. Now when I go down any farther, we're going to see that the diode is no longer forward biased. And you can see that the nice pretty sine wave is disappearing. And the diode, now that it's not forward biased, is doing what a diode does it is now rectifying the audio signal. Pretty neat, I think. I'll turn off that audio again. Turn it back on. So about dot five 4.9, somewhere in there, is when that diode is turned on all the way. And as I increase the voltage in the overall circuit, our sine wave remains the same. Get it up to 12 volts again. There we go. So, this is how a diode can pass an audio signal. You forward bias the diode. Thanks for watching.